ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನಮನು ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರ್ವಶಿಪಾಸಿಂದುಬೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ್ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವ್ ವೈ ಪಿ ಆವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿಂ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ್ವ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲುಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಪವಧು ಶಿವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀತ ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ್ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ವೈಚಿತ್ರಾದ್ಭಿದ್ವತೆ ಮತೋಯೋ ನಿನಾಂ 
param parjena ke sanchit pasanda matayo apare evam prakriti vaichitrat evam prakriti vaichitrat bhidvate matayo ninam param parjena ke sanchit pasanda matayo apare gauriya goshtipati Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, Jagadguru told, We are postman. We are just like a messenger of Golok Vaikuntha. Whatever message available there, we are going to deliver you in tact way, without changing anything. I have no personal responsibility in it. Because all what kind of message I am getting from Vaikuntha Jagat, I am going to deliver you. Maybe you become angry with me because I am speaking all about the absolute truth, what I have received from my Guru Varga through Guru Parampara. So, when you become angry, it is my request to you that try to consider what is my responsibility. Why you think me enemy? I am just like a postman, whatever labor later coming in your name, it is my responsibility to deliver this letter to you. If you open the letter and find some dangerous news, if you like to beat me, but it's not good. Why you are going to beat me? But it is your letter. It's coming, I'm giving you. I'm only delivering. So foolish people all over the world, they cannot bear when some sadhu is going to speak about that absolute truth, absolute way, standing on absolute platform. Just, just cannot bear. Many times Prabhupada used to say, repent. We cannot do anything, but we can undo. We cannot do anything. We have no responsibility. We have no power, no capacity. But we can undo. If somebody is doing, we can break. Many times Prabhupada used to say, a mouse, a small mouse, cannot print any book. But if you, if you put valuable books, mouse can come and cut all books. That he can do. Bookworm cannot print any book, cannot deliver any message, but can count all books that they can do. That is their duty. This is the painful situation of our society. We forget. Many times Pope are told that Guru Padma is a transparent or transcendental media through which we can see what is what? Guru Pat Padma, Paramansa Gurudev. Guru Pat Padma is just like a transparent media or transcendental media through which I can see what is what in this Aprakita Jagat. Yesterday evening time, I was discussing about this point. A prakita vastu nahi prakita gochar. Again, I can discuss today by all your mercy. Point is there. Through parampara, we are getting knowledge. We are getting knowledge. You have your money, I know. I know you have your money power. You can go to you can go to market and buy so many books and try to read. Who is going to stop you? You can go to market, you have your money. You can buy so many books and try to read and try to get transcendental knowledge. Can you? It's not possible. I, I can buy so many books from market, I have money power. But who can give realization? Realization you cannot buy from market. You have your money power, manpower, you can go to market, give me 
uh, uh, 10 kg realization. You cannot buy. Realization is a sole absolute thing which is totally reserved by Guru Vaishnava and Bhagavan. Solely reserved. They are the sole proprietor, Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. Out of, your, out, out of your own effort, you cannot get one drop of realization. That is the same thing I was speaking yesterday. Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking to Uddhava, uh, Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking to Brahmaji. The, you cannot know me. You cannot realize me. Yesterday in Bengali Katha, I was speaking. The object we cannot see, the object we cannot feel about, the object we are going to hear, but cannot realize. This is the object, absolute. Then how it is possible, then how it is possible to know Him? Then how it is possible to know? Him. Whereas by we cannot see that object, we cannot realize anything, we can play our brain, we can hear about Him, cannot realize what is this. Sarvana yopi janma labhya Ashtadya asya bhakta Kushala asya labhya Ashtadya bhakta Speaker of Bhagavad Katha Rare, most rare, Ashtadya Shabakta. In Upanishad we find Ashtadya Shabakta and Kushala Shalabdhya. Still rare, who can receive the knowledge? Ashtadya Shabakta, who can speak? Who can speak about Bhagavad Katha? It is written in Shastra, we heard from Guru Bhargava. He who is Bhagavat, Mahabhagavat, he can speak Bhagavat. If you are not Bhagavat, then you cannot realize Bhagavat. Many times, Popad used to stay with painful heart. All the behaviors, all the character, all the behaviors, all the bhajan mode, all etiquettes. What is available in my Guru Path Padma, what I can see in my Guru Path Padma, all the applied form of Bhagavad Gita Mahaprabhu. Prabhupada used to say, maybe my Guru Path Padma is not going to pass any lecture on Bhagavatam, maybe. Maybe my Guru Padma is not going to pass any lecture on Bhagavatam. But be sure, what all written in Bhagavatam, what all written in Bhagavatam, you can find in applied form in my Guru Padma. You can find in applied form. So he is Bhagavatam. Ashtadya Asya Bhakta Kushala Asya Labdha. Very, very, very rare. Very rare speaker of Bhagavatam. Without enjoying full kipa, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Prabhupada, Guru Varga, nobody can speak Harikatha. So, Ashtadya Shabakta, this kind of speaker of Bhagavatam is rare. And still more rare. Who? Who can receive this knowledge? Maybe one speaker we find all over the world, one or two. But who can receive? Who can hear and catch and digest? Who can? That's why in Chatusrogi, Chatusrogi Bhagavatam I told yesterday, Bhagavan speaking to Brahmaji, out of your own effort you cannot no me. So jnanam paramam gujhyangme yad vijnana samanitam sarahasam tadangancha gihanu gudhyangme. 
I am going to speak you, out of my causeless mercy, I am going to speak you, Gihano Goditong Maya. I am speaking and you will receive. And who am I? What is my feature, transcendental feature? What is my Leela? I mean, everything you can know. My Dham, everything, all you can know. Perfect. You can know everything. Jabanaham yatha bhavo yad rupa guna karma kaha tathiva vijyanam astu te madanugraha. Bhagavan going to bless. Bhagavan going to bless to Brahma. Bhagavan speaking, by my blessing, by my karuna, you can understand. You can realize. And in Brahma Sangita, you can, you can know Brahma was given Brahmin initiation. Brahma was given Brahmin initiation and mantra come by Bhagavan. You can go through Brahma, Brahma Sangita. Not a matter of joke. From Brahma Sangita, you can have the knowledge, complete knowledge. That Brahma was initiated by Aprakita Kamdev, Nanda Nandan Krishna. Brahma is going to manifest this kind of Leela of controlling this material world, what to do. This kind of Seva already given by Bhagavan. He will have to create, he will have to take care. So, some people, even Gauriya Sadhu, I, I know, they are speaking all rubbish about Brahma. They are speaking all rubbish. I mean, I mean, I mean, they are going to cut their root cause. In open assembly, they are going to insult Brahma. I was not present, but some important Maharaj, very old Maharaj told me, that Maharaj, you see, is speaking all rubbish about Brahma, about, you know, because of some reason. Some reason there. That's mean, that's mean he is going to cut the root cause of that very thing I wanted to speak repeatedly. If you are ready to cut the root cause, then where you can go? You are so clever, you are so intelligent that you like to cut the root cause. Then where you can get stability? It is not the question of fighting a false ego. It is the question of your survival. You are foolish. It is not the question of false fighting, of false ego. It is the question of your survival, how you can survive. Maybe you can get enormous amount of pratishtha, but pratishtha cannot save you. You can get huge amount all over the world, but be sure that pratishtha is not going to protect you. You are not going to get any protection because people giving pratishtha. Pratishtha cannot protect you. All your billions of dollars in bank or different places you keep also are not going to give you protection. All your disciples also cannot give you protection. Nobody can give you protection. Protection can only be given by Guru Pat Padma. Protection can only be given by Guru Pat Padma, provided that disciple is completely in line with Guru Pat Padma. Totally. Because if it is slightly deviated, 0 0.001 millimeter disparity, deviation, then finally, that you know, there is no 0 0.001 millimeter difference. But if you extend this two line, even then it can ultimately can go. And even if you can extend that two line towards infinity, then it can grasp the whole world. Follow, two angle. And now you cannot find there is any angle. Very, very fine. But if you extend two line, the two line can extend and ultimately you can catch the whole world. Diameter, diameter of the world, diameter of this earth can fit, you can. 
So, Prabhupada always speaking about absolute truth, absolute way. Most scientific. That's why Prabhupada many times giving warning. Be careful. If you are deviated from the track of Guru Path, the point zero 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 one millimeter. Until and unless your desire, your dream, your desire, your efficacy, your behavior or Siddhanta, until and unless going to submerge with Guru Path Padma. That is why in Kirtan it is written, Guru Mukha Padma Bhakyo Hridayate Koriya Aiko Arna Koriya Munyasa. You heard that this Kirtan? Guru Mukha Padma Bhakyo Hridayate Koriya Aiko Arna Koriya Munyasa. Try to, try to harmonize your Try to harmonize your heart with Guru Path Padma. After hearing all the message from Guru Path Padma, you should not have 0 0.001 millimeter or, or even more fine deviation should not be there. Totally harmonized. Prabhupada used to say, completely dovetailed, like one one bottle is there and the cap is just fitting. If the cap is just not fitting, then the cap is useless. Prabhupada used to give this totally accurate. So Guru Mukha Padma Bhakya Hidayate Kariya Aiko Arna Kariya Manyasha. Don't try to foster any desire inside your heart. Because today you are going to take care of that, you know, you are fostering one small desire. That desire can take the form of a big banyan tree. Then where you can go? Follow. One banyan tree or, you know, people tree. Oh, okay, banyan tree. Fruits is there, fruits fall down. If that fruits is broken, one sheet going to enter into the mud and somehow by sunlight and water, everything, air, a sprout coming out of this very, not even mustard seed. Not even mustard seed, you can check up. Even more fine than as the size of mustard seed. But that very small, teeny seed, going to get the advantage, I mean the support of water, air and mud, sunlight, then the sprout can come out. And the sprout can come out and after 500 years or 200 years, 2000 years, 1000 years, it can take a such a form, you can go mad. 5000 years back, Banyan tree, there. Akshay bought. Akshay never going to die. In Naimi Sharanna, one Akshay bought. In eh, Ilhabad, here in Botanical Garden, Calcutta, Brindavan, Akshay bought, uh, three or four. Never going to die. But you cannot trace out what is the main, you know, portion. Because different kind of branches come out. Different kind of branches. So, if you are going to foster, I mean, uh, if you are going to take care of one desire, small desire inside your heart, that desire can get the support of Mayadevi. That desire can get the support of Mayadevi. And that Mayadavi is supporting by the help of Mayadavi because it is a duty of Mayadavi. Then you can break your heart that the sprout can become a big tree and all your branch, you know, branches can spread here and there and the root can go and the root can go up to such a level that if you try your best but you cannot uproot this is called your brain, fine brain. 
those who are pure sadhu, they are going to make so many temples, so many temples, but be sure, they are not, there is no attachment with them. But if you make one building, their attachment. At the time of death, you cannot be, I am going to live. If your root of desire, if, if, if your root of desire can go deep and deep, the more it can go deep, the more you can face, face problem in your life. How to uproot? Because uh, wh while living body, you will have to throw all desire. What do you say? At the time of your living body, that is a technique, fine technology, spiritual technology. You have to leave body, and this is the fine technology, spiritual technology. You will have to leave all your mind, everything, free, and you can concentrate on the lotus feet of Krishna. If you have failure, then you cannot get any solution in your life. Big problem. That's why don't try to increase your appearances, don't try to increase your, you know, desire. Try to cut and throw. Try to cut and throw. Try to develop vairagya. And if I advise you to develop vairagya, not that I advise you, you can practice vairagya. Vairagya is an automatic factor. I am going to advise you, so from today you can go to home and start uh, uh, practicing vairagya. I can cook this much, I can take, I cannot wear nice clothes, I can sleep three hours. Vairagya you can. What it concern to me? This kind of dry vairagya cannot help you. You forget that vairagya can come automatically. Why Bhagavan can do Rasa Leela with 100 crores kopi, whereas you cannot you know, digest this kind of relationship in the material planet? Why you know? Because Bhagavan has no self-interest. Bhagavan can, Bhagavan have the right. Bhagavan is the sole, you know, proprietor. Bhagavan is a soul enjoyer. He can do, because he can digest. If you try to give ghee, ghee, you know, ghee, clarified butter, if you give so much ghee to dog, dog cannot digest. It is written, dog can digest everything, but ghee cannot digest. Ghee, butter. In Bengali, there is one proverb, but you cannot understand what you are speaking. Bengali. Kukurer pete ghi shodjo hai na. Kukurer pete, in the belly of dog, it is dangerous if you give some, ba you know, butter and, you know, this. Dog never, you know, can digest. So, Bhagavan can enjoy because Bhagavan has complete detachment. Bhagavan is the sole enjoyer at the same Why? But Bhagavan is the sole renouncer. If in the infinity world, whatever kind of renunciation or detachment you can, you can collect, but you cannot compare with Bhagavan. Six kind of appliances is they are in full fledged form. Purno. Purno mean? Purno. Purno, I am speaking. I am speaking Purno. But that doesn't mean there is some finite conception. I am speaking Purno. Because Purno this word. But this Purno, suppose you are taking prasadam. I am giving you everything, up to this point you say totally saturated, I cannot take anymore. Purno. But this, con this conception is not applicable for Bhagavan. Follow, not applicable. 
Bhagavan can take thousands of plates, lakhs of plates of prasadam. That's why the son in law, Asarvam Vartajajo, could not understand. Sarvam Vartajajo giving prasadam, this much prasadam. He go on the map of Bhagavan. Mahaprabhu say, I cannot take so, I cannot get, uh, take uh, this much prasadam. You uh, make one separate plate and give me some. Sarvam Vartajajo become you know, angry. Angry mean? You are taking in Jagannath temple thousands of pot of prasadam and now you are not, you are, you know, you are going to make full of me. Take prasadam. You are taking in Jagannath temple thousands of pot there. You are taking all prasadam there, Jagannath. Eh? 56 different kind of items you are taking and eh? 10 times you are taking in a day. And now you cannot take the death, this. Then Mahaprabhu could realize there is no problem. Then Mahaprabhu said. In the meantime, from window, the son-in-law of Sarvam he is envious to Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. Amog, his name, he looked. Oh my God! Ten people can take this prasadam. He's taking one sannyasi. They don't understand. This is the condition. One example I give you. One example only I give you, you can realize when Krishna Bhagavan play, you know, doing Rasa Leela with hundred crores of Gopika, but people expressing doubt. Many times I express explanation. It is not dirty Leela. But if you are going to play with one woman in the material platform, is very, very, very dirty thing. Bhagavan not doing any dirty thing. There is written. So many documents are given. Bhagavan not feeling any reaction. While doing while doing Rasalila, Bhagavan not feeling feeling any reaction. Only getting ananda. Because Bhagavan Sarup. Because Bhagavan Sarup is full of ananda. Infinity ananda. And Gopikas, they are Ananda Chinma Raso Pratibhavitavi, Stabiri Jeva Nijurpottaya Kalavi, a Sarup Sukti. You misunderstand that Bhagavan Sri Krishna playing with 100 crores Gopika. If I play with one woman, uh, is a very. Why? You want to become a competitor of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. But you don't understand. No reaction is there. Yoga Maya Mupasrita. Bhagavan did this. So, to understand the Sarupa of Bhagavan, all the teachings of Bhagavan is very difficult. To understand all the teachings of Bhagavan, ordinary people cannot. So, I was speaking yesterday, matching combination, right combination of Speaker and disciple, guru and shisha should be there. Right? Right combination should be there. If there is no right combination, that's a big problem. Then the knowledge cannot stand. Either either knowledge cannot stand or can stand, but in a you know, different way. Guru is speaking this, you understand this one. Wrong understand. This way, you can misunderstand Gurudev, you cannot catch. That's why, right combination of Guru and Shisha. Disciple and Guru, right combination is a prior, prior need. It's a very, very important prior need. Then, Harikatha and the enjoyment of Harikatha can go to a peak level. And where Harikatha is there, Actual Harikatha, where Bhagavan Sri where, where actual Harikatha is there, there Bhagavan is always present. Madhbhakta Yat, where my Harikatha is there, pure Bhakta, Bhakta speaking, I mean, who is Bhagavat, speaking Bhagavat, Bhagavan says, I am, Bhagavan speaking to Narad, I present there. 
Madhvakta Yatru Gayanti Tattru Tishtami Narada. When my devotee is speaking Harikatha, then be sure I am present there, but in fine form. In fine form you cannot see. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taking prasadam, somebody is going to express doubt. When Krishna Bhagavan is going to do some leela, somebody is going to misunderstand. What is the solution? Solution is that Jnanam Paramam Gujhyang Yad Vigyana Samanitam, this mystery, this mystery of Leela of Bhagavan. The knowledge given by Bhagavan, all you should realize. Otherwise, it is impossible. Forcefully, you cannot, forcefully, you cannot enter into this area of realization. Forcefully, you cannot enter into this area of realization because it is strictly prohibited. It is strictly prohibited. Or if you want to apply force, then trespassers will be prosecuted. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Big problem. Now, we are making background before hearing this kind of immense treasure. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, when and how speaking, to whom, and after hearing Uddhav, what is the duty of Uddhav Ji Maharaj? That's why I started with the with the sloka. You can remember. Now it's a very important point. I started with the point now huh, in the sloka. E evam prakriti bhichitrat, evam prakriti bhichitrat bhidvate matayo ninam. Param parjena ke sanchit pasanda matayo apare. Evam, this way, due to diversity, due to diversity in mood, diversified mood, people all, their mood is different, different. According to that, they are going to receive, according to that, they are going to receive the knowledge spoken by Guru Patma or the knowledge coming through Guru Parampara. Evam Prakriti Vaichitra, due to the diversi diversified nature of different jiva, I mean people, they are going to accept same Siddhanta Vichar, what Gurudev speaking, what Gurudev speaking, same Bhagavad Harikatha, Siddhanta Vichar. But this disciple is going to accept this way, that disciple is going to accept this way, because their nature is different. Because the nature and sanskar, because the nature, I mean sanskar is different, so they cannot catch, same way. Perhaps, perhaps I already gave you one example long ago. The example of Jagavalko, perhaps I have given, I, I can remember. Jagavalko, is a Rishi. Jagavalga Rishi is doing bhajan, writing so many things. Two sons of Jagavalga, two sons of Jagavalga. Jagavalga is going to send them to Gurukul. Jagavalga, try to understand. Jagavalga is going to send two sons to Gurukul to realize Brahma Tattva. To realize Brahma Tattva. Hello. To realize Brahma Tattva. But after hearing all Brahma Tattva, two sons coming back to home. Then Jagavalka asking the elder son, My son, wow, what you realize about Brahma Tattva? I like to hear. Then he started passing lecture. He started passing lecture, big, big lecture. Then Jagavalga became very angry. Stop it! Because Jagavalga could realize he is passing lecture, not realization. Then asking the sm small boy, younger boy, you, you speak something? 
about what you have realized about Brahma? Well, he is standing in, in, in front of Father, looking at the lotus feet of Father and looking at eyes. Looking at eyes and looking at lotus flower. Lotus feet, cannot speak anything. He likes to speak something, but cannot speak. Jagabalka speaking, actually you realize Brahma Tattva. Because Brahma Tattva is such a thing, after realization, you cannot pass lecture. Brahma Tattva is such a thing, after realizing Brahma Tattva, you can go mad. You cannot pass lecture. Then Jagavalko could realize, my son, you realize Brahma Tattva. Because after realization of Brahma Tattva, it is impossible to pass lecture. Also, another example I can give. In front of Brihaspati, our heavenly planet there, King Indra and Virochan, Virochan approach to learn something about Brahma Tattva. But Indra Maharaj and Virochan sitting just near Guru Patad. At the same time, they are getting same Tattva, everything. Brihaspati, Deva Guru, Deva Guru, Deva Guru, Brihaspati going to speak same thing. Not that separately going to speak something from Indra or some particular there, some duple, <laughs> going to, not there. Same. But Indra Bhagavan, Bhagavan mean? Bhagavata, they, some power given, no, I can speak Indra Bhagavan. Not, not I can say Sangar Bhagavan. But I cannot say, Parameshwar. But again, Ishwar is okay because they are getting Ishita, power from Krishna. So anyway, Indra Bhagavan. Gurudev Bhagavan is also an appropriate term, but we are not using in Gauri Mat. Because foolish people they misunderstand. They can try to misuse it. They can do you know you know they can take undue advantage. Gurudev Bhagavan is an appropriate term, no wrong. But still we Gauriamad in God not speaking. But he writes Siddhanta, not wrong. Gurudev is really Bhagavan. Gurudev is really Bhagavan coming in the form of so what's wrong in it? So Indra Maharaj Indra Maharaj according his according to his previous sanskar going to catch the teachings. Okay? Somehow. But Birochan going to accept that same teaching just opposite way. Birachan could not realize. Then after a long time, Indra Maharaj again going to approach, after long gapping, Indra Maharaj going to approach Gurudev, Braspati. Gurudev, I couldn't realize Brahma Tattva perfectly. I like to learn more clearly. Then Braspati speaking, at least for 12 years, we will have to maintain Brahmacharya. At least for 12 years, you will have to perform Brahmacharya and then you stay with me, I can teach you. After that, Brahma, after that lesson, the Indra could realize something. That is also not complete. <coughs> Indra could realize something more clearly, but not complete. A Brahma is Brahma. Complete means, what do you mean by complete? <coughs> so, actually, this way, Guru Shishya, I mean, appropriate, right, right combination of Guru Shishya is very important. Otherwise, not possible. Yesterday, I was speaking documents from Bhagavata, you know, different Shastra. Vishnu Sabane Parikhit Ababat Vayashaki Kirtane Pralada Smarane Eh? Tadangri Sevane Lakshi Prithu Pujane. I told you, na? so many. This way, one, one, nine fold of Bhakti, na? nine fold of Bhakti, na? Shavanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Sparanam, Badu, Seva. Oh, nine fold. So, nine fold of Bhakti, for nine fold of Bhakti, one, 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 one Acharya. 
speciality. Like Shukdev Goswami about hearing. He is the topmost Acharya. He is the idealism of how to hear from Guru Padpal. And the speaker unbeaten, unparalleled. Who is Shukdev Goswami? Pallad Maharaj Smaran, remember Bhagavan. Pallad Maharaj Smaran. This way, <coughs> nine folds of bhakti, each one, each acharya become <coughs> the idealism. Speciality they have. Now I can go back to my this Tattva Siddhanta. When Bhagavan Sri Krishna going to speak Uddhavji Maharaj, when? 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 First of all, I told you yesterday, Brahma and all demigods going to request Bhagavan. Brahma, uh, yeah. Brahma and all demigods going to request Bhagavan, Prabhu. The reason for why, the reason, the reason for why, the reason for why you have come, here you appear, the duty all over, almost all over. Bhagavan speaking well, I know. I am also going to take preparation to leave this material world. To climb my eternal abode. I know. But one duty, not done. What is that? I will have to withdraw. I will have to withdraw my own team, own group, Yadava. That is it. Each one, one, one Yadava, they are so dudharsha. Terrific, tremendous power. Bhagavan speaking, I am going to, first of all, I will to withdraw my own team, full troops, na, with which I came from Golok, so I have to withdraw them. After that I can go. So, by the request of Brahma and all demigods, Bhagavan is ready, okay. My, almost all my duty is over. So, I am going to take preparation. How to live? I am going to take preparation. Well, okay. What do you mean by preparation? What do you mean by preparation? First of all, if you plan something, if you plan something, if you like to do something, if you like to do something, first of all, you have to plan. After planning, you will have to implement one by one. After that, finally, you can do. So, first of all, you can think, I like to do this. If you like to do this thing, something, then after that, you can plan how to do it. I mean, way out, how to do, what is the procedure. After that, you can try to implement, one by one, one by one, this is the procedure. Bhagavan also doing it. So, Bhagavan already taking plan, I mean, deciding, Okay, I will have to withdraw. Uh, how to withdraw? I cannot kill all. Uh, I cannot kill all uh, Yadava. I am Bhagavan, so I can go and kill all all Yadava. It's not possible. The, what is the way out? The Bhagavan planning, very nice planning. What is that? Well, nobody can kill Yadava. Nobody can kill Yadava in this fourteen worlds or in, in infinite world. Because Jadava is my Parshat, who can kill? So I can take, uh, Bhagavan took decision to, to arrange everything. What is that? Jodhu Bamsa enjoying the, ki enjoying the Kipa of Bhagavan. So Bhagavan Sikh is not going to take plan that by the help of those Rishi Muni, I told, na, yesterday I touched. All Rishi Muni, by the desire of Bhagavan. Now you can ask Maharaj, who is going to inform them? There is no mobile, no phone. Who is going to call Sukhdev Goswami, so that Sukhdev Goswami appropriate, on the right time, in right place coming? How possible? 
You can speak, no? Who invite? Who invite Sukhdev Goswami? That you will have to come and speak Bhagavad Katha there at the bank of Gan Gan Ganga? Who told? Nobody informed? Information received by he himself. Because Bhagavan giving inspiration. Hey, go. That's why Parikhid Sukhdev Goswami going to Hastinapur from there, running, running and coming appropriate. At appropriate time. It is the arrangement of Bhagavan. Because with Bhagavan, those disciples they are, and de those devotees, they have their internal connection. They have their internal, but our connection is <laughs> broken. Internet connection is broken. We cannot get any message from Vaikuntha Jagat. Or at all by out of mercy, some Guru Vaishnava speaking as is possible. But their connection is already there with Bhagavan. And pure Guru Vaishnava also, their connection. That's why the Harikatha coming. Like tower, na? One tower going to catch and supply in heart and the speaking. This is a so they have their connection with Bhagavan. Bhagavan going to give inspiration. Ud Shukdev Goswami going to reach the spot where Parikhid Mahas sitting. Same thing. So why why? Why suddenly, ah, we know, we know Munir, we know Manirishis, they are coming. We know Manirishis, they are coming to take darshan of Bhagavan. It's quite natural. But why now, so many Rishimani all together, why? But there is some reason. What is the reason? It is all arrangement by Yogamaya. They are going to reach Dharaka in a very beautiful garden. They are going to do bhajan. In the meantime, or Jodhubangsi Balak, I mean small boys, in course of their playing mood, in course of their playing mood, they are reaching the spot. Rishi Mani, Pranam, Pranam, Pranam. What happens? Actually, we have one question to you. There is Samba. Samba is very beautiful looking. They are going to make Samba dress like a woman. They are putting so much cloth here. So that it seems is a precise, he is he's pregnant. They're making one ladies. And the, the Rishi Muni will like to ask that uh, lady, I mean this Mataji going to give birth one. Uh, so uh, boy baby or girl baby. But Rishi Muni can see everything. You cannot make fool of Rishi Muni. They can see everything. Like, yes, idiot. Huh? You can give birth to one mushal, one piece of iron bar. Huh? Iron bar. When speaking, when Rishimun is speaking, well, go. Can give birth to one iron bar, which, which can become the cause of the full destruction of this Jadubangsa. He is going to give birth to one iron piece, which can become the cause of the destruction of whole world. Oh my God! Because they know everything. They are frightened. They are going to reach and inform this message. All in troops. They are going, ah, oh. in course of playing. We never done this. But why today we are joking with them? Oh, oh. they reach uh, Shudharma Sabha assembly, you know, parliament. Shudharma Sabha parliament. They are going to reach. The Krishna, Balaram, everybody there, Uddhavji Ma, they are going to be folding hand. We have done one mistake today. Ugrasen, Raja, King Ugrasen also. What mistake done? In course of playing, we reach one place where all Rishi Muni, they are, you know, doing bhajan. We have done mistake. And they give cards. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, knowing everything, laughing inside. All done by him, na? Well, what happens? What happens? Krishna asking, what happens, my boy? And this happened. Krishna knowing everything. All done by Krishna. <laughs> All done by Krishna. Now, what happens? What happens? Nah, the Rishi Mani, cars, cars that, you know, that the Shambho can give birth one, one iron piece. Oh, really? 
It can become the cause of the disgust, destruction of the whole Jodhu destiny. Krishna smiling. Well, then all assembly, I mean the parliament, all the members, they took decision to take the iron piece, to take the iron piece and going to rub against stone. Whole day and night. They can pay some money. <laughs> you can do whole day and night rubbing. So that the up to the last moment of the iron bar. But if you rub, it can become with water, it can be dust particle. Nah. If you rub, I can dust particle. Okay? All assembly parliament took decision members. Well, no problem. We can take the bar, we can apply somebody, give payment. You can rub whole day and night uh, with water. Give water. With water. <laughs> Finally, we can liquefy. We can make a dust particle. The dust particle, how can kill? So, okay, well, right decision. <laughs> right decision taken. But they don't know, uh, Bhagavan is super, super intelligent. Bhagavan is super, super intelligent. Uh, who can play brain? Finally, to whom? Finally, to whom the responsibility was given to rub and throw into water? He find one very, he find one very small piece, very flat. Ah, it's useless. Ah, it's not problem. Very nice place. Ah, oh, now, chandan like chandan. Now nah, you are uh, with water. If you can look at that. So this small, this small piece is no problem. Okay, this small piece no problem, no harm. So you throw that small piece into ocean. Bas, one big piece going to swallow, and one fisher going to catch that piece, going to cut to sell in the market. He find this piece of iron bar, very nice, huh? That a fisherman, fisherman thinking it is why well, you, I think it is very useful, but I have no use because I am fisherman. So in the meantime, one hunter watching, this your any use? It, is it of any use of you? You can use it? No, you can take it. He give to the hunter. Hunter going to to his room, I mean own place, going to make a very sharp weapon. Rubbing, 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 very nicely. Making one very nice. It's very good instrument. Very good instrument. Now I can. Now he is going here and there. Finally what happened? Krishna going to forecast. Within seven days from today, whole Daruka can go under water. Huh? Yes. I get information from up. Bhagavan speaking, Bhagavan is not speaking, I got information all, Daruka can go under water. So it is, uh, so we are going to take decision, so anyway, we are going to take decision to leave this Daruka, anyway it's going under water, we cannot leave. So we can go to Prabhash, Khanda Prabhash, one place in Gujarat, Prabhash, uh, at the bank of sea, there we can arrange Jagya, we can, give, we can give donation to Rishi money. We can enjoy, no problem. We can try to arrange Jagya to cut this to cut this auspicious moment. Then they are going to obey Krishna. Well, you are speaking, it must be okay. Because Krishna can never speak lie. Okay. So anyway, who whole Daruka going underwater within seven days, so we should not stay here anymore. We have to leave this place. They are all going to pack their luggage and with horse and you know, a car, they are going to reach a Prabhas Kanda. They are there unloading their luggage and they are enjoying. Very nice spot. At the bank of sea, very nice weather. They are going to arrange Jagya, anything, they are going to give donation, anything. And in Jagya, they are offering some special rasa. You should not think they are making wine. If you think wine, it is, it is great offense. It is not wine, like wine. One kind of rasa, 
they offer to in Jagya and all they are taking the rasa. After taking rasa, they feel very, very enjoyment. It is the arrangement of Jogamaya. It is the arrangement of Jogamaya, they forget everything. They forget everything. They drink that rasa up to their full capacity. They drink rasa. After that, they forget who is who. They forget who is who. Ah, they are going to, in the meantime, they started dashing, pushing, and they started fighting. Huh? He is speaking, huh? Can be. Automatically, it is the arrangement of Jogamaya. They started, first of all, they started dashing, pushing. After that, they started fighting with weapon, this, that. So, all Jadu destiny, they are fighting among themselves. It is the arrangement of Jogamaya. They get destroyed. Only a few, only a few, like Bajranaba, this, that, they were outside. Outside. So, only a few. This way, finally, a oh, big problem, so all gone. Balaji Maharaj watching, Balaji Maharaj watching, as if, as if, Balaji Maharaj, Balaji Maharaj swaying, totally indifferent mood. Balaji Maharaj going to show, totally indifferent mood. As if he has no interest with anything. He is going to lie in the water and Shahasya Shirsha Anantadev expressing in the water, Balaji Maharaj disappear. <coughs> Shahasya Shirsha Anantadev appear. Balaji Maharaj is going to sleep in the water. In the meantime, Anantadev appear, Balaji Maharaj disappear from that place. They wanted to fight also with Balaji Maharaj, but Balaji Maharaj is gone. In the meantime, where is Krishna? Krishna is not found. They are all, they are fighting with each other, mutual fighting, that they are going to die. But Uddha, Bajranabha was outside, that time Bajranabha was, Bajranabha was not there. Bajranabha, grandson was not there. Anyway, Uddhavji Maharaj, was somewhere else. Uddhaji Maharaj searching. It is the arrangement of Jo, though we know, though we know, Uddhaji Maharaj is also one of them. Among Jodhu destiny, among guests, Jodhu destiny, Uddhaji Maharaj is one member, but Uddhaji Maharaj is saved. How saved? <coughs> the arrangement of Jogma. <coughs> it is the desire of Bhagavan Sri. He is saved. He never took, he never took part in fighting. He is going to withdraw and gone to some place. He is following Krishna. After that, Uddhavji Maharaj was saying, where Krishna gone? He is crying, all die. Jodhubangsa. I can someday discuss the secrecy. Actually, Jodhubangsa, you know, fighting with each other is one kind of a play game. It's, uh, you know, it's called got up, got up game, you know, got up game? You don't know got up game? In football team, when I was playing football, suppose our team is there and uh, another team is supposed to come, they fear us. They know if we go, we cannot stand in front. Say they are absent. That is called got up game. You know, mutually, that Team took decision not to go. They sent message, we are not going. They have the mutual understanding, we are not so powerful, okay. You are, it's a got up again, mutual understanding. So it is, I, someday I can discuss the, how it is possible. If the Jodhu Vansi, Jadavas, they are eternal parsat, how we find they fight with each other and uh, they kill each other? This mystery, someday I can speak in course of interview, not now. Because I have to go forward now. Now, now point is that <coughs> Uddhavji Maharaj searching, Uddhavji Maharaj searching, Uddhavji Maharaj searching Krishna like a mad. Uddhavji Maharaj searching Krishna like a mad and crying, where my Prabhu gone? 
Because without Krishna, without Krishna, Uddhavji Maharaj cannot live even a fraction of a second. You cannot believe. Uddhavji Maharaj speaking, I can come to the point. Even fraction of a second, Uddhavji Maharaj cannot live without Krishna. Wherever Krishna used to go, wherever Krishna, wherever Krishna used to go, here and there, like uh, going to Indrapastha to meet Panchapanda. From Dharaka, from Dharaka, very often Krishna going here and there, na? but always Uddhavji Maharaj is staying. What to speak more? What to speak more? When Krishna wanted to fulfill, Krishna wanted to fulfill the desire of Kubja. Even when Krishna took decision to fulfill the desire of Kubja according to his previous promise. That time also, nobody going. Very secret, na? People can misunderstand. People can misunderstand. They can speak all rubbish again. But Krishna, anyway, going to take Uddha. Because Uddha can never misunderstand. Very secret, na? So Krishna, we, together with Uddha, going to the house of Kubja. And Kubja is very enjoying because Kubja had some material desire, I mean some desire. Not material, if he is going to uh, get the association of Bhagavan, it's not material. I can say some desire was there. I cannot say material desire because there is no, if there is any desire rela related to Krishna, it is not material. So anyway, Kubja going to get the association of Krishna, but Uddhavji Maharaj is there. Uddhavji Maharaj never misunderstands. That Uddhav cannot live even fraction of a second without Krishna. Without Krishna, Uddhavji Maharaj. All the time. When Krishna is there in his, in, in, in his bedroom, when Krishna is there in his bedroom, come on. But there is no restriction of Uddhav. Outside people coming, surely you cannot allow him to enter your bedroom? No. But the relationship with Krishna, because I already told yesterday, Krishna already declared, there is no gapping between Uddhav and me. Who is Uddhav and me? So even Uddhavji Maharaj has a free access inside the bedroom also. Because Uddhavji Maharaj, when Krishna is sleeping, Uddhavji Maharaj is going to massage the leg. Massage the leg very nicely. This way. This kind of intimacy there with Uddhavji Maharaj. Now Uddhav is searching, where gone my Prabhu? And crying. All gone from this man. Maybe Bhagavan also disappeared without informing me. He's crying and searching. Suddenly, Uddhavji Maharaj discovered. Well, Bhagavan is there, over, over there, sitting under a people tree. Bhagavan sitting under a people tree with a leg here, you know, putting one leg up and four hand. Because in Dharaka, sometimes two hand, sometimes four hand. But in Vrindavan, Bhagavan never want to take four hand, two hand. Four hand means appliances. Two hand means just like human being. Krishna Lila is so tasteful. Krishna Lila is so tasteful. Why? Krishna Lila is so tasteful because it is just like human being. If there is some abnormal thing, Krishna is going to take club and it is not sweet. I can discuss this point some. Aishwarya Madhuja, how all proper adjustment in Dhar and Vrindavan. Very excellent. All intricate Siddhanta. Very secret Siddhanta. You can go mad. Very nice. That's why Krishna Lila is so sweet. Uddhavji Maharaj running and running and crying and fall down on. Prabhu, you come here. You come here. In the meantime, what happens? 
in the meantime, what happens? That Jaranamak bad, that hunter, I already told now that hunter is going to make the final part of that residue and part. You make one nice, uh, fine, you know, pointed missile. It's going to, from long distance, from long distance by the desire of Krishna, by the desire of Krishna, from long distance, that hunter what oh, there's so nice bird, so I can hunt. You're going to throw that arrow, arrow straight away going, and going to penetrate the leg of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, and blood coming out. Though we know Krishna is not made up of blood and flesh, but to make full of you and me, it is the arrangement of Yoga Maya. Krishna's whole body is not like me, but to make full of common people, so that they cannot understand what is pure devotional practice. You know the reason now for why Shankara Chajyo, Shankar Bhagavan was given order, you can go to this material world to divert people. Those who are demonic, I can discuss this point. That's why Shankar Bhagavan coming in the form of Sankaracharya to divert people from pure devotion. Bhagavan speaking, don't allow those demonic character people in my devotional practice. It can become contaminated. So please try to try to cook. Try to cook a very tasteful philosophy. Try to cook a very tasteful philosophy. It's called Sharirak Bhashya, Mayavad Bhashya, so that everybody bound to accept. So nice, you know, you can fabricate. You can fabricate this Siddhanta Vichar in such a way, so that all demonic people bound to accept it. So this way, Sankaraja is going to write Mayavad Bhashya. Why? To divert people. It is the instruction of Bhagavan. Many times in Gita, in Bhagavatam, Everywhere, I can show, Bhagavan don't like to give pure bhakti to everybody. Bhagavat, Mahavarat, anywhere, I can show so many documents. Bhagavan Sri Krishna himself speaking. Also, Naraji Maharaj speaking to Yudhishthira Maharaj, that Prabhu, Rajan, Bhagavan don't like to give bhakti to everybody. Before giving bhakti, Bhagavan is testing him. Before giving bhakti, Bhagavan testing him very heavily. Because if bhakti is given to somebody, Bhagavan is going to obey him, na? You don't understand. If Bhagavan is going to give bhakti to somebody, Bhagavan is bound to be under his control. You forget, na? I speak this sloka. Huh? From Rasamrita Sindhu. I already wrote. Kleshagni Shubhada. Kleshagni Shubhada Mukha Logita Krit. Kleshagni Shubhada Mukha Logita Krit. Sudur Lava. Shandra Nando Visheshatma. Sri Krishna Karsani Chosa. I have no time to discuss. Someday I can discuss. Bhakti has a such a tremendous power. Bhakti has some tremendous power. It can pull Krishna. Krishna don't like to come. Pull Krishna. That's why if Bhagavan is going to give some bhakti to somebody, Bhagavan is bound to come. So Bhagavan is very clever. I cannot give bhakti to everybody. I can give bhakti to limited, to some limited personalities. Those who are genuine. That's why Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I can discuss tomorrow, one day, nothing. This kind of discussion. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in course of his discussion, I mean teachings, to, to Rupa Goswami Path, in Allahabad, speaking. To Rupa Goswami Path, Bhagavan speaking, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that the abduction of this uh, Mahishis and disappearance and disappearance of Krishna 
all full of maya. Full of maya, nobody can understand. Nobody can realize. Because if they realize, Bhagavan already told in Gita. Bhagavan already told in Gita. Janma karma chame divyam javetti tattataha tekta deham punar janma naiti mami You forget. Bhagavan already told. My, my taking birth, my taking birth, all my lila, all transcendent lila, aprakita. At the same time, Bhagavan seeking this kind of lila. At the same time, Bhagavan is going to die. How possible? How possible at a time? Bhagavan already declared. Dibba, eh, janma karma chame dibyam jobeti tattata tekta deham punar janma noiti mamita saharjun. Aprakita. So surely Bhagavan wanted to make fool of you and me. I mean those who are demonic character. That is nothing else. Mahaprabhu also going to disclose. Mahaprabhu also wanted to disclose the secrecy. Nothing. The abduction of uh, all, uh, you know, all <coughs> Dharuka Mahishis and Krishna's disappearance, all Maya, Maya, Maya. So, in some Puran, so in some Puran, you can discover Bhagavan going to leave body by the strike of the arrow thrown by that hunter. Krishna is going to leave body, they are going to take the body, going to burn that body, and of the navel portion, navel portion, they are going to throw in the water, that navel portion floating in the water, coming to Nilachal, I mean the Puri, Nilachal Dham, and there, the big temple, in the form of Jagannath. All false, just to make fool of you. If your material conception is there, <clears throat> so long as, so long as your material conception is there, about Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan, Dham, Nam, Parikar, you can never come out successful. So long as material conception is there, you can never come out successful. So it's very, very secret thing. <coughs> By reading Shastra, you cannot realize. You have to follow your Guru Parampara, absolute knowledge. Then you can realize, you can attain success in your bhajan. Personal effort. It's nothing cannot be. Big problem. Then when <coughs> that hunter going to strike, then Krishna is going to leave body. A material people think uh, Krishna's body was burnt. <laughs> but in Bhagavatam, so many sad Vishnu Puran I can show you. That is written. You open Bhagavatam, I can show you. That all demigods and upper upper planet. Aparapana, Bhur, Bhuba, Shwa, Mahajana. Aparapara planet, na? Bhur, Bhuba, Shwa, Mahajana, Tapasat. All they are waiting. Bhagavan climbing in the chariot and the chariot going up. Ah. It is written in Bhagavatam. It is written. Bhagavan sitting in the chariot and the chariot of Sasta going up. And all different Aparapara planet, when Krishna Bhagavan going to the Bhur, Bhuba, Shwar, Sarga, going to cross, na? They are all throwing flower. Namo, Namo, Namo. They are going to show flower. Even Brahma is waiting with flower and Padip, Arti, doing Arti. This way. So Bhagavan going to cross this, you know, Bhagavan, anyway, if Bhagavan taking birth here, Try to understand. When Bhagavan purposely appear, he appear here in this material world, still Bhagavan is beyond any material limit. Even one Muslim, one Muslim poet, what to speak about you and me? Even one Muslim poet, Muslim poet, very important, he wrote, and another Poet is the Nobel laureate. His name is Ravindranath Thakur. He also wrote. He is not devotee. 
But he got the chance to hear Harikatha from Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Bhimala Prabhupada. He was not Vaishnava. Half portion, 50 percent was, 50 percent he was influenced by Vaishnavism, 50 percent by Brahma, Brahmaism, Brahmaism. Because the father was Brahma. So 100 percent was not devotee. He never took decision, but his realization uh, by the mercy of Bhaktivinoda Prabhupada, he had Harikatha. Rabindranath Tagore wrote in his kitchen, and kitchen means there is a poet, poet, poem. Shimar maji asim tumi. How nice. In childhood, when I read it, I was very, very nice. Shimar maji asim tumi. It seems, it seems that your body, your structure is there within some material limit. It seems, in naked eyes, if you see, it seems that you are within this limit of, within this body limit, body structure, body limit, but you are infinity. You see, if, the, if this kind of poet can write, why you cannot realize? Poet speaking, come on, he is not Vaishnava. Only he heard about Harikatha from Bhaktivinoda Tagore and Prabhupada, this much. He is going to get this kind of realization. Shimar maji asim to me. You are infinity. Though externally we, we can see you are within some limit. I can discuss tomorrow. Today time cannot permit. I will have to run. So, <clears throat> even in Bhagavatam, even in Bhagavatam, when Jashodama wanted to catch Gopal, and today is a uh, today, this mass is Damodar Masna, Damodar Masna, Damodar Lila. Namami Swaram, Sachidananda Rupam, Lasat Kundalango, Kule Bhajamanam, Jashoda Biolu, Kala Dhabamanam, Paramestamatam, Tato Dutto Gopa. Namami Swaram, Sachidananda Rupam, Lasat Kundalango, Kule Bhajamanam. So this Gopa. Jasodama, how dare, how dare Jasodama going to tie it in a bind Gopal with rope? I can speak, discuss this point, you can go mad, very nice. Out of tremendous love, Jasodama cannot think, my Gopal is small boy, he is infinity, huh? Infinity, he is a small boy. <laughs> my poor boy, I can take in lap and kiss. But Jasodama don't know. Don't know mean? It is the arrangement of Jogumaya. Love. Only love and love. You are mine. You are my boy. So, Jasodama could not realize that he is infinity. Jasodama, you are going to bind Gopal by the help of one rope. <laughs> but it is infinity. Bhagavan is infinity. How he can try it? There is a sweetness of this Leela. Tomorrow I can discuss. Today, time cannot permit. Excuse me. So, there is one nice sloka in Bhagavatam. Na antar yasso, na antar bahir yasso na. This sloka, very nice sloka. Very nice. So, evam prakriti vaichitrat vidyate matayo ninam param parjena kesanchit Pashanna matayo apare. Banchakalpa durusya ki pasindva. Patitanang pavane bhavishna. If you know.